In this video, you'll learn how to do a solvent transfer. Solvent transfers are a type of printmaking. It is in fact the act of transferring something already onto a, another surface. The source material can be any media that can somehow be related or manipulated to, from an original source to another surface. We will be doing a laser transfer. Again, laser print only. The origins of the transfer printmaking can be traced back to Robert Rauschenberg, although that is debatable. I'm going to be using a color piece of laser print onto a um, soft surface or one without tooth, and then a black and white one. Black and white tends to actually transfer better. I'm going to be using the colorless blender marker, which is toxic. Use ventilation and a spoon and another spoon. I have a Sharpie, blue tape, and this is why I have the Sharpie, to remind you that you will only be using a laser printer. With this, I would, after using the laser printer, I would let it sit for 24 hours, the print. The, it will actually transfer better, the toner to um, the paper. So again, I have my printmaking paper face up. I'm going to make sure that I have my image placed in the right area. I then take blue tape so I don't abrade the paper and I tape it down onto both my table surface as well as the image I'm transferring. You have to work really fast because the solvent, which is acetone or also xylene, often will um, evaporate quickly. So you're just going to keep going from one side of the print to the next side. And you can see I'm actually using a spoon that's small because it is a small surface but you can use your big spoon too, it doesn't matter. As you do this, sometimes you'll forget to do certain areas of the print or Xerox. So what I do is I carefully pull up the um, print and to make sure that I've actually transferred it, the image. And I'm really working pretty hard putting enough pressure down. You can also go over areas that you've already used the marker on just because some of it sometimes won't transfer as well, especially because your marker starts to kind of dry out. And I just continue and continue and continue. One thing that I've found is I never throw away my markers. Um, they're expensive. I take off the back, which has a, the white um, part. You can just pop it out with the little, like, I don't know, screwdriver. And then you can fill up and regenerate the marker again with acetone that you can just buy at a hardware store. And it's actually cheaper than buying the marker over and over again. So again, I'm going back over the house a little more because it's a lot, a lot of surface to transfer. And you can see there, I'm just picking it up again. I didn't like that I didn't transfer enough. And there you go. So I, on this one I have it on a, um, a toothed paper, which means it's ripply. And so it's gonna actually show the tooth. And that's why it looks a little bit more faded. You can also go over top of it once you're done and put like a varnish or you could put gloss medium to pull out areas too. You can also paint or draw back on top of it. So once you're done with that, throw it away as out in the trash, it is still stinky. And that's another one I did also on a heavier weight tooth paper. So there are the two different um, ones. 
Now, a color one is harder to transfer by hand. Usually I do it on a print press, but you'll just have to spend a little more time making sure to transfer it properly. And you do exactly the same thing. And that's it. That's a solvent transfer for you.